Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Live at 555 on this Saturday morning. Hope you're having a good day. We're in 1 John chapter 1 verses 1 John chapter 2 verses 7 through 11 this morning. 1 John chapter 2 verses 7 through 11. John says this, Brethren, I write no new commandment to you, but an old commandment which you have from the beginning. The old commandment is the word which you heard from the beginning. Again, a new commandment I write to you, which thing is true, in him and in you, because the darkness is passing away and the true light is already shining. He who says he is in the light and hates his brother is in darkness until now. And he who loves his brother abides in the light, and there is no cause for stumbling in him. But he who hates his brother is in darkness and walks in darkness and does not know where he is going because the darkness has blinded his eyes. John yesterday let us know that if we say that we walk in the light, but we walk in darkness, we're a liar. And how it's important for us to be obedient to um, what God has commanded us to do. And with that, he goes, this is kind of the big thing that we as Christians should be obedient to. That's the Lord's commandment, verse 7. But before he kind of lets us know a little bit what it is, first he tells us, hey, brethren, I write no new commandment to you, but an old commandment which you have had from the beginning. The old commandment is the word which you heard from the beginning. So John says, the commandment that I'm reminding you of today, it's not a new one, it's actually an old one. It's actually one that's been around for, for a long time, he says. It's one that's been around since the beginning. He says, it's not new, it's old. But then in the next verse, verse 8, he says this, Again, a new commandment I write to you, which thing is true in him and in you, because the darkness is passing away and the true light has already been shining. Okay, wait a minute, John. In verse number 7, you tell us you're writing to us a new commandment. But it's not a new commandment, it's an old commandment. It's not new, it's old. Then in verse 8, you tell us that it is new. It's like, I know it's early, John. Are you writing this at 5.55 a.m.? Because you're not making a whole lot of sense. What he's talking about here is, and he'll tell us here in the next couple of verses, the commandment that he's talking about here is the commandment to love each other. And this commandment existed back in the book of Leviticus is where we first see it mentioned. Uh, we're to um, love your neighbor as yourself. We call that the golden rule. But Jesus comes onto the scene in the gospel of Matthew and he tells us, he says, don't just love your neighbor as yourself. He says, you need to be loving each other as I have loved you. That word new that's used here in 1 John chapter 2 verse 8 it's not new chronologically. It means new in freshness. So what John is saying here is a fresh commandment I give to you. And the commandment that he's talking about here is going to be loving your brother. And Jesus uses that same wordage in the Gospel of John when he says, Hey, for thousands of years since Leviticus, you've heard that you need to be loving your neighbor as yourself. Jesus goes, Here's a higher standard. Don't just love your neighbor as you love you. He says, I want you to be loving your neighbor as I love you. Just a little news flash for you. Jesus loves you more than you love you. So Jesus says, I want you to be loving your neighbor as I have loved you. So that's what he's talking about there. A fresh commandment. Kind of a, a new light that's shining on it. Verse number nine. He who says he's in the light and hates his brother is in darkness until now. And here we get to what he's talking about. We've already sit, learned that if you say you are a follower of Jesus, but you walk in darkness and not in the light, you're a liar. Now he tells us if we're saying we follow Jesus, that we're a disciple of Jesus, yet we say we hate our brother, we're dwelling in darkness. How can you say you love God and then with the same mouth say that you hate your brother. John says that's inconsistency. He says that's not what someone who walks in light would be like. That sounds more like someone who would be walking in darkness. So he says don't fall into that trap of saying you love God, but you hate your brother. Verse 10 says he who loves his brother abides in the light and there is no cause for stumbling in him. 
Ah, if you love your brother, you're walking in the light. How do you walk in the light? One of the ways is by loving your brother the way that Jesus loves you. If you hate your brother, you're walking in darkness and can be a cause for stumbling. Because if you've ever walked around in darkness, you know that it's easy to stumble over stuff. But when you love your brother, you're walking in the light. And as a result of that, the end of verse 10 says, and there's no cause for stumbling. Why? Because you're walking in the light. When you can walk in the light, you can see where you're walking and you're not going to stumble over stuff. So it reminds me of an illustration that I heard once. Uh, there was this guy and it was nighttime and off in the distance he could see this light and this light was kind of, you know, staggering around. And this guy thinks to himself, you know, this must be a, a drunk person or someone who's carrying this flashlight. And he walks up towards this light he gets closer to this guy and he sees that this guy who's holding the flashlight is carrying a white cane he realizes that this guy isn't drunk that he's actually blind and he says to the guy he says what does a blind man need a light for and the blind man says i don't shine my light i don't carry my light so that i can see he says i shine my light so that others can see me he says, I can't help it that I'm blind, but I can help not being a stumbling block to other people. Huh? That's what John tells us here. He says, here's the reality. As you choose to love your brother, you're helping to not be a stumbling block to other people. You're shine even though maybe you don't need it, you're shining your light so that other people won't stumble over your life. That's what us choosing to love each other the way that Jesus loves us does for those who are around us. Because Jesus, we're all familiar with the uh, verse, it actually used to be up on our wall and our own in our old sanctuary. He says, by this all men will know that you're my disciples if you have love for one another. One of the marks, one of the ways that people are going to realize that we're a follower of Jesus is by our love towards one another. So, when we're claiming to be a follower of Jesus and we don't love each other, that's a stumbling block for people outside looking in. But John says, if you love your brother, you're walking in the light and it's not a stumbling block. It's not an offense to others. Verse 11, he says, but he who hates his brother is in darkness and walks in darkness and does not know where he is going because the darkness had blinded his eyes. If you hate your brother... Again, he just reiterates, you're dwelling in darkness. And here's how he describes your life. You're dwelling in darkness and you don't know where you're going. You're wandering around because you're choosing darkness over light. If you want to choose light, he says, choose to love your brother. Okay, makes pretty good sense, right? Hey, don't be a dweller of darkness. Someone, an attribute of someone who dwells in darkness is out of hatred. An attribute of someone who dwells in light is that of love. Jesus says, my disciples are light dwellers. Why? Because Jesus is the light. And he says, not only am I the light, he then tells us in the Sermon on the Mount that you are the light. So as followers of Jesus, our attribute should be that of love because love is associated with walking in the light. Hatred is associated with walking in darkness, and that's counterproductive to what we're claiming to be a part of. So John just makes it clear for us this morning, hey, have some consistency in your life. You need to love your brother. Jesus loved you. You need to love them. You need to not love them the way that you love you. You need to love them the way that Jesus loves you. Whole nother standard, a new commandment, a fresh commandment, that John reminds us of, that Jesus commanded us back in the Gospel of John. Don't walk in darkness, walk in light. Hatred is walking in darkness. Love is walking in light. Choose to walk in light and have love towards each other. Pretty good word for us on this Saturday morning. Let's pray and we will get on with our day. Heavenly Father God, we thank you for uh, today. Um, and Lord, I thank you that... Um, Lord, as followers of you, we're able to walk in the light. And Lord, it's pretty simple. Lord, all we must do is just love each other. Lord, love our brother the way that you've loved us. 
And that's one way that we as believers are able to walk in light and not in darkness. And Lord, I pray that we as your kids would be known for our love. And Lord, as we're known for our love, Lord, we know that that's going to be um, a light. But Lord, when we choose as believers to hate each other, Lord, we're stumbling around and we're not just stumbling ourselves. We can actually cause people on the outside to stumble uh, because we're about darkness in that moment. So God, I pray that we would just have love as we walk in your light, Lord, for one another. Lord, if there's anyone out there in our lives right now that we are struggling to love, maybe it's an estranged family member or a friend that's done us harm or a neighbor that we can't stand, Lord, I pray that we would just trust in you, Lord, that we would realize your love for us. And as we realize your love for us, Lord, we'd be able to extend love to that individual that we're finding hard to love in this season of our lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Hope you guys have a good Saturday morning. We will see you um, tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow morning first at Live at 55 as we continue through 1 John chapter 2. Tomorrow's also Sunday, so come on out either 9 a.m. or 11 a.m. here at Calvary Chapel Salmon, 520 Main Street as we have worship, and uh, we're looking at Matthew chapter 11. If you can't join us on, if you can't join us in person at 9 a.m., you can join us online, Facebook Live here. Uh, our 9 a.m. service will be live streaming that or on our website, ccsalmon.com. Hope to see you guys tomorrow, and uh, have a blessed day.